think it's more accurate to see the Crusades as one more means of trying to control these people, these, these, these warriors. If they insist on keep on killing people, let's get them out of Europe, let's get them over here, let's have them kill Muslims. It's better to kill Muslims, this is their thinking, it's better to kill Muslims than to kill Christians. So that was the, the Crusades. Excuse now the, me. Yes? I enjoyed your lecture very much. This is an interesting use of the college format, which of course we Muslims invented. Uh, thanks very much for the compliments, but this is a university and that's a, a Western European concept. Uh, but we won't quibble over that. You have a question? No, I have a statement. Do you mind if I interrupt the class for a moment? Uh, we're, we're getting used to that. Uh, okay, you have a statement you wish to make? Yes, about the Crusades. <coughs> I think that you have passed over the subject rather quickly. Uh, perhaps um, I can relate to your students here what us Muslims thought about these infidel barbarians which you call crusaders. All right, but first of all, could you tell us whether you're from the present or from the past? What? Well, when were you born? 543. 543, all right. Ah. I see you're using Arabic numbers. Uh, <laughs> Much easier to handle than those clumsy Roman things. Uh, were you born, is this, you're using the, the Islamic calendar here or are you using the Christian calendar? The Islamic calendar, of course. The Christian one is inaccurate. Well, all right, then by, on our calendar, let's see, it'd be about 1148, all right. You were born in 1148, is that, is that true? <laughs> I pay no attention to that. All right, you have a statement. Yes. Please. Please, we have to get on here, please. First, the only reason that you barbarians were able to defeat us was that we were divided. Unfortunately, Allah, while he has united our souls, has not united our arms. Besides, this coastal strip which you have invaded means nothing to us compared to the empires of Persia, Mesopotamia, and Egypt. Secondly, why do you send us only soldiers? We have so much to teach you. Numbers and bookkeeping, so important for trade and commerce. Ooh, the manufacture of fine fabrics, damask and linens. And of course, there's courtly refinement and the art of cleanliness. I have seen what you barbarians have done to the city of Accra, swarming with pigs and crosses full of filth and excrement. Have you people never heard of running water? <laughs> Finally, there is the world of medicine. I will tell one short story, a true story, and then I must be on my way, for I must go to my prayers. <clears throat> Please. I am a doctor. <clears throat> a ruler, a Frankish ruler, sent for me to treat a subject of his who was ill. They took me to the woman, and I could see that she had consumption. I prescribed a cleansing and refreshing diet, and the woman's health improved. Then a Frankish doctor appeared. This man has no idea how to cure this person. He examined the woman, and he exclaimed, the woman has a devil in her brain, and it is making love to her, cut off her hair. This they did, and the woman resumed her diet, her Frankish diet of garlic and mustard. Of course, <laughs> her condition worsened. Then the doctor exclaimed, the devil has gotten into her brain. <laughs> he then took out his razor. He cut a cross on the top of her head. He then removed her brain so that the inside of the skull was exposed. This he rubbed with salt. The woman died immediately. I then, at this point, asked if they had any further need of me. They said no, and so I went on my way, amazed at what I had learned about the methods of Western medicine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, he, he does have a point, uh, particularly at the time we're talking about, just in the 9th, 10th, beginning of the 11th century, the civilization of Islam was far advanced over that of, of Christianity. But that would change partly because